All right, how about something a little more challenging for you advanced students? All right, we're going to solve with variables on both sides. And the first thing you need to do, remember, is separate them out. So I'm going to choose to put my x's on this side, and I'm going to label them. And I'm going to put my numbers on this side. Let the separation begin. So first I'm going to look to see, is there any distribution I need to do? And yes, there is. So I'm going to distribute and multiply 3 times 2x, which is 6x. And 3 times negative 7, remember the Vegas rule, to get negative 21 plus 5x equals negative 3x minus 14. All right, now I'm going to look on the same side to see if there's anybody we can put together and sort our laundry. And we look and we say, oh yes, 6x and 5x are like terms. So I'm going to add them together to get 11x minus 21 equals negative 3x plus 14. All right, now we're going to look at the x side. That's why we labeled it. What does not belong here? Ah, oh, that would be my negative 21. So I'm going to add 21 to both sides, numbers with numbers. These guys cancel out. 11x is equal to negative 3x plus 7. Now I look at my number side, and I see that on my number side, this 3x doesn't belong there. So the opposite of negative 3x is positive 3x, both sides. Negative 3x and positive 3x is 0. Good, that goes away. I'm left with 14x is equal to 7. Uh, we love this, don't we? So now we're going to divide out the attached number. And we're going to have x is equal to 7 over 14. Oh, which isn't right, right? Because we need to reduce. So they both divide by 7. And our answer should be 1 half. Nice. And remember, you know you love math. <laughs>